Welcome to today's demo of Bridge Operator Console for Skype for Business and Link 2013. The screen layout of the Bridge Operator Console is similar to a Microsoft Office application. At the top, we have a Microsoft ribbon control. The blank space portraying our demo operator, Melissa Went, is referred to as the heads up display. This will show information about the current call you have selected. Calls will be populated here in the My Conversations box. When a single call is present, that is by default the selected call. If a second call enters the system, it will show up here. You can toggle between calls easily, shown here. The directory groups listed below are groups of users that can be defined either from the Skype for Business contacts, Active Directory, or created by the users themselves. Here we have many different combinations. We have global directory groups that are visible to all users, we have local groups that are imported from the Skype for Business client, and a local group that is created for all users. To view users in a group, you simply select it. What makes directory groups convenient is that they provide group visibility and active directory without having to create and maintain the groups in your Skype for Business client. This allows large enterprises to scale very easily and quickly and gives visibility to the operators. Location objects below this are places to put items that you need to call or transfer to frequently that are not users in the system. An example of this would be an access item to a conference bridge, response group, or things of that nature. Parking lot information is shown here. With the capability of our client server application, users can share parked call details and see them for all users in Bridge Operator Console. We will further discuss parking and part 4 later in this demo. Below that is our search box in green. Hovering shows that we can search by first or last name, telephone number, title, department, and etc. This provides a vast improvement over the Skype for Business client. As we see here, if we search for accounting over in the Skype for Business client, we find a single user. Searching through the Bridge Operator Console, however, will match 97. This gives us a faster, more thorough search option into the Skype for Business and Corporate Directory. Searching can also be refined to search only the group on screen by taking off the global search option, seen here. Names only searching can be enabled with a similar control. This can be useful if you wish for searches to not return titles, departments, or etc. The directory is the first of three tabs here. This is where the operators will do most of their work in the application. Directory objects include the user's photo, with a hoverable mini contact card, their name, their call status, or their forwarding status, and we can see if a user is on SIM ring or call forwarded as well. We can show meeting status, displaying if a user is in a meeting or is in do not disturb mode, giving extended visibility to our operators with the optional exchange connector which will be discussed later. Availability status is here. Chat status as you follow along gives you the same visibility across the row title, department, and lastly, user notes. These are broken into personal notes, shared notes, their local Skype for Business client note, as well as their URI. To expand the note, we can simply click on it and we can change it. Shared notes will be visible to all users of the Bridge Operator console. Personal notes will just be visible to Melissa Went in this case, or their corresponding operator. If at any time you need a reference for the meaning of objects, icons, or if you want to learn keyboard shortcuts, the key is available here to the right with this toggle switch. The keyboard shortcuts are listed at the top, icons with details for the My Conversation status are here, and directory user status icon descriptions are here as well. There are a number of ways to transfer calls in the Bridge Operator Console. It has been designed specifically with operators in mind, meaning almost any task they can perform will function. For example, the drag and drop. The user may drag and drop the call or the entire heads up display onto another user. When they do so, they are presented, for the first time, with a box. It shows them who the caller is, who they have dropped the call on, and gives them choices for handling the call such as a blind transfer, supervised transfer, transfer to voicemail, or park the call for the user. If you would like the same action to be performed upon each drag and drop, you can then select the Make this the default action next time box. This can be changed later in the settings. We will select blind transfer.
You can see the transfer happening down here in the right corner, and when it completes, we'll see Susan Larson on the phone. Another method for transferring and answering calls is the double-click function. We can double-click on a call to answer it, and we can double-click on a user to transfer to. Let's transfer the call. You see, we get a similar pop-up, and we can set a different default for double-click if we like. Let's select Blind Transfer. Another way to transfer calls is using right-click. We can right-click on a user and use the top section here. This is where we have our Blind Transfer, Supervised Transfer, and a section of Advanced Transfers including a Safe Transfer, meaning that the call will not forward to voicemail or call forwarding it's going to either go to a human or back to the operator. Our transfer to voicemail, blind and supervised transfers to mobile phones if available, transferring to other numbers the user has, or typing in a number in a freeform text box to transfer. Let's select supervised transfer. In this case, a second call is made to Bill Triplett. When Bill answers the call, we can tell him about the caller and let him decide what action he would like to have us do. We can complete the transfer to Bill, we can abort the transfer and bring the call back to us, we can send it to his voicemail, or we can park the call for him. In this case, we will select Complete Transfer. When we do so, the call is completed through, and the two parties are speaking, and we are removed from the call. Another method to perform a similar function is to add a user to a call. In this case, we will add Derek Reiser to this call, creating a three-party conference. Once we have done this and the two users are speaking, we can then drop off the call and the users will stay on. There may be occasions where we need to get a hold of a person via some external number to make sure they are available for a call. If this were the case, let's say as an example we wanted to call Bill Triplett to make sure he is available to take a call, or he is logged in, or some manner in which we had two calls on. With the two calls established, we want to join these calls together. We can do that with our Join All Calls function here. It will merge the two calls into a single conference call, and once that has happened, we can then drop off, if we so choose. These are just a few of the ways to transfer a call with the Bridge Operator Console. Keyboard shortcuts are again listed here, and can be utilized with either combinations or programmable keyboards. Response groups are an important part of Skype for Business. Bridge Operator Console has many features that take advantage of these response groups. The first is Information Display, in the Heads Up Display area. When a call comes in from a response group, we will show the name of the response group here, and will also show that the user has a call queued up in one of the queues that they are in. When we answer the call, the information will stay with us so that we are able to see that this call came from this response group. In the Response Group Control ribbon area, there are two options. The first lets you log in and out of response groups using the Skype for Business URL. The second displays a mini panel wallboard type window that shows you members of a particular response group, active and inactive, as well as call activity and a list of calls that have been answered and a short call history. Users can use this to make decisions like, I am able to go to lunch if there are three people currently logged into this response group. And once this is the case, the user will be able to see this in live time and go to lunch. Parking calls is made simple with the Bridge Operator Console. Again, the parking lot is displayed at the top. If you are working in an environment that does not have call parking, the lot can be collapsed or disabled completely, moving the rest of the screen objects up. To park a call, you can use the ribbon control, the park button, or you can simply grab the call in the heads-up display and drag it to the parking lot. You see, once this happens, call park information is here. This again can be made visible to all users of Bridge Operator Console. To remove a call from the parking lot, simply double click. The biggest issue with call parking is, after parking a call, the users still need to be alerted to its existence. We overcame this issue at Bridge Communications six years ago by inventing the Park4 function. Taking advantage of existing Skype for Business technology, this function allows you to park a call for a specific user and have the user be notified with a message containing a clickable URL to the call. The Bridge Operator Console will also clean up all of the orphan park call windows so you avoid screen clutter and unnecessary windows. 
With our extended group functions, we allow you to park a call for an entire group of users as well. They would all receive a conference group message, and they can decide in the message who will take the parked call. Sometimes you need more information than the default directory provides. Bridge Communications provides two methods that dive deeper into user information. The first is available in our Active Directory Info Transfer screen. This screen can expose things in Active Directory like Manager, Assistant, Secretary, and Transfer to all telephones there. The second is Related People. This will show details about people related to the user, including people who share the same manager, people who have the same title, and people in the same department. You can even go further and see those users' related people. Bridge Operator Console comes with many advanced features. One of those is integration with our free call recording software for Skype for Business. This can let you record calls on demand and transcribe them later using Microsoft Bing Speech for searchable text. Another feature is the ability to share call details with another application. Bridge Operator Console can be made to send caller ID information to any EXE or URL defined by the user in the settings. Simply click Share Call Details when on a call and Bridge Operator Console will push that data to the program selected. If you need to have geographic call information about a caller, you can click Show Call Location to see a map of where the call is coming from. This can be helpful for geographic routing of incoming calls. Bridge Operator Console can show call forward, SIM ring, or delegate status from any of the users in the system. Users are also allowed in client server mode to change call forwarding SIM ring status as well as a user's presence. The user will be notified of any changes made by you via an instant message upon the Save Changes button click. In the contact card pop-up, Bridge Communications adds a voicemail setting at the bottom showing the number of unread voicemail messages, as well as the delegates available from the user's configuration. These can be transferred to or called as well. Our automated task scheduler lets you create a conference call on our server. The difference being users don't need to click a link to join the call, they can simply answer their phone when it rings at the scheduled time. You can also schedule call reminders with pop-up click to dial. Bridge Operator Console comes with a number of built-in video tutorials. Users can get quick, two-minute video tutorials showing them how to perform specific functions in the Bridge Operator Console. Basic call detail reporting is available here and will show basic call statistics. There is also a section for missed response group calls, if calls need to be returned from that section. Conversation Viewer lets you see geographic visibility of an ongoing conference call, as well as the capability to do live, inline voice translation to whichever incoming or outgoing language you desire. You will also see a conversation log as people begin and stop speaking. Bridge Operator Console contains a number of different add-ons. The first is the Bridge Connector from Microsoft Exchange. This extends the in-a-meeting visibility to show the user's calendar. This can be configured to show meeting subjects, meeting bodies, or a completely blind view that only shows free, busy, out of the office, or tentative status. A connection is made using EWS so calendar sharing is not required, allowing this to scale in a very large organization. If a user manages a single operator, they can monitor the user with the pop out as sticky function. This enables the operator to see the user's agenda and call transfer capabilities. The second add-on is the bridge group messaging capability, allowing users to perform functions on Skype for Business groups, Active Directory groups, or custom created groups. They can chat with a group, conference call a group, email a group, schedule a meeting with a group, and etc. If there is an active call on the line, they can use the Park for Groups function, allowing them to park a call for a group of users. The users get a group message where they can decide then who will take the call, and the call can be picked up via a clickable link. The Bridge Operator Console Medical Connector will connect with any EMR HMR system and receive HM7 data from the MedRecord system. This allows users to look up patients by name and transfer calls to their room easily. 
they can also see their related people users and see their primary care physician, primary care technician, and also being able to call and transfer calls to these users.